Hey guys, it's Robert from Deaf Film, uh, back with another quick tip. Today I'm going to be talking about panels and workspaces. So by default, Premiere Pro is probably set up so that you're using their editing panel. And basically these panels are all the different tools and uh, functions that Premiere has and you can move them around by dragging them and then setting them around to create tabs or to create new windows. Uh, it's made to set up how you like it, but sometimes these things can get hidden for whatever reason. If you want to hide them, you would press this like three line hamburger looking thing and press close panel. But sometimes I've seen that these panels will close on their own and basically you go to the top, top bar up here, you press window um, and all of these are the active panels, everything that is a check. So anything that you disabled accidentally will come back if you enable it on this drop down bar. A big tip that both me and Xander use, as you can see up here, is setting up your own workspace. The default editing workspace from Premiere is pretty good, but I find myself not using some of their panels and needing to use others. So what I did is I set up a workspace that fits my monitor setup, which is a triple monitor. Um, I have the program monitor on the left uh, and one of the timelines on the right. You can't see, but I've narrowed down uh, over a few months the types of stuff that I, I use the most and what I need visible at all times. Things like the color correction, the effects, the effect controls, and the project uh, window are most useful to me. But also I have setups for when I'm using single monitors and, and things like that. I find it does increase productivity and increases workflow by a lot. It, it makes it so I can find everything in a snap. So I think that you should definitely try making your own workspace, trial and error, but it does help in the long run. So that's it for this week. See you guys around. Pshh.